In topology and related branches of mathematics, Tikhonov spaces and completely regular spaces are kinds of topological spaces. These conditions are examples of separation axioms. Tikhonov spaces are named after Andrei Nikolaevich Tikhonov, whose Russian name Tihonov is variously rendered as Tikhonov, Tikhonov, Tihonov, Tishonov, etc. Topic: Definitions. A topological space X display style X is called completely regular exactly in case points can be separated from closed sets via bounded continuous real valued functions in technical terms this means for any closed set a X display style a subset X and any point X element of X a display style x in x set minus a then there exists a real valued continuous function f x r display style f x long right arrow math b r such that f x equals 1 display style f x equals 1 and f a 0 display style f mid a equivalent 0 equivalently one can choose any two values instead of 0 display style 0 and 1 display style 1 and even demand that f display style f be a bounded function a topological space x display style x is furthermore called a tikhonov space alternatively t3 1/2 space or t pi space or completely t3 space in case it is a completely regular hausdorff space remark Completely regular spaces and Tikhonov spaces are related through the notion of Kolmogorov equivalence. A topological space is Tikhonov if and only if it's both completely regular and T0. On the other hand, a space is completely regular if and only if its Kolmogorov quotient is Tikhonov. Topic: <laughs> Naming conventions. Across mathematical literature different conventions are applied when it comes to the term completely regular and the t axioms the definitions in this section are in typical modern usage some authors however switch the meanings of the two kinds of terms or use all terms interchangeably in wikipedia the terms completely regular and tikhonov are used freely and the T notation is generally avoided. In standard literature, caution is thus advised to find out which definitions the author is using. For more on this issue, see History of the Separation Axioms. Topic: Examples and Counterexamples. Almost every topological space studied in mathematical analysis is Tikhonov, or at least completely regular. For example, the real line is Tikhonov under the standard Euclidean topology. Other examples include Every metric space is Tikhonov, every pseudometric space is completely regular. Every locally compact regular space is completely regular, and therefore every locally compact Hausdorff space is Tikhonov. In particular, every topological manifold is Tikhonov. Every totally ordered set with the order topology is Tikhonov. Every topological group is completely regular. 
generalizing both the metric spaces and the topological groups, every uniform space is completely regular. The converse is also true, every completely regular space is uniformizable. Every CW complex is Tikhonov. Every normal regular space is completely regular, and every normal Hausdorff space is Tikhonov. The Niemitsky plane is an example of a Tikhonov space which is not normal. Topic: <laughs> Properties. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Preservation. Complete regularity and the Tikhonov property are well behaved with respect to initial topologies. Specifically, complete regularity is preserved by taking arbitrary initial topologies and the Tikhonov property is preserved by taking point separating initial topologies. It follows that every subspace of a completely regular or Tikhonov space has the same property. A non-empty product space is completely regular resp. Tikhonov if and only if each factor space is completely regular resp. Tikhonov, like all separation axioms, complete regularity is not preserved by taking final topologies. In particular, quotients of completely regular spaces need not be regular. Quotients of Tikhonov spaces need not even be Hausdorff. There are closed quotients of the Moore plane which provide counterexamples. Topic: <laughs> Real valued continuous functions. For any topological space X, let C X denote the family of real valued continuous functions on X and let C flat X be the subset of bounded real valued continuous functions. Completely regular spaces can be characterized by the fact that their topology is completely determined by C x or C flat x. In particular, a space X is completely regular if and only if it has the initial topology induced by C x or C flat x. A space X is completely regular if and only if every closed set can be written as the intersection of a family of zero sets in X i.e. the zero sets form a basis for the closed sets of X. A space X is completely regular if and only if the cosero sets of X form a basis for the topology of X given an arbitrary topological space X, tau, there is a universal way of associating a completely regular space with X, tau. Let ρ be the initial topology on X induced by C tau X or, equivalently, the topology generated by the basis of cosero sets in X, tau. Then ρ will be the finest completely regular topology on X which is coarser than tau. This construction is universal in the sense that any continuous function f X tau y display style f sad face x tau to y to a completely regular space y will be continuous on x rho in the language of category theory the functor which sends x tau to x rho is left adjoint to the inclusion functor craig top thus the category of completely regular spaces craig is a reflective subcategory of top the category of topological spaces by taking Kolmogorov quotients, one sees that the subcategory of Tikhonov spaces is also reflective. One can show that C tau x equals C rho x in the above construction so that the rings C x and C flat x are typically only studied for completely regular spaces x. The category of real compact Tikhonov spaces is anti-equivalent to the category of the rings C x where x is real compact together with ring homomorphisms as maps. For example, one can reconstruct x from C x when x is real compact. The algebraic theory of these rings is therefore subject of intensive studies. A vast generalization of this class of rings which still resembles many properties of Tikhonov spaces but is also applicable in real algebraic geometry, is the class of real closed rings. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Embeddings. Tikhonov spaces are precisely those spaces which can be embedded in compact Hausdorff spaces. More precisely, for every Tikhonov space X, there exists a compact Hausdorff space K such that X is homeomorphic to a subspace of K. In fact, one can always choose K to be a Tikhonov cube i.e. a possibly infinite product of unit intervals. Every Tikhonov cube is compact Hausdorff as a consequence of Tikhonov's theorem. Since every subspace of a compact Hausdorff space is Tikhonov one has a topological space is Tikhonov if and only if it can be embedded in a Tikhonov cube. <laughs> Compactifications Of particular interest are those embeddings where the image of X is dense in K. These are called Hausdorff compactifications of X. Given any embedding of a Tikhonov space X in a compact Hausdorff space K, the closure of the image of X in K is a compactification of X. Among those Hausdorff compactifications, there is a unique, most general one, the stone check compactification β X. It is characterized by the universal property that, given a continuous map f from x to any other compact Hausdorff space y, there is a unique continuous map g from β x to y that extends f in the sense that f is the composition of g and j. <laughs> Uniform structures Complete regularity is exactly the condition necessary for the existence of uniform structures on a topological space. In other words, every uniform space has a completely regular topology and every completely regular space X is uniformizable. A topological space admits a separated uniform structure if and only if it is Tikhonov. Given a completely regular space X there is usually more than one uniformity on X that is compatible with the topology of X. However, there will always be a finest compatible uniformity, called the fine uniformity on X. If X is Tikhonov, then the uniform structure can be chosen so that beta X becomes the completion of the uniform space X. <laughs> 